classic Hawk. Your place to hear some of the greatest moments in 108.9 The Hawk history. Laugh, cry, relive these moments now. Your Play show, one of the top rated shows on 108.9 The Hawk. Uh, oh, yeah. Huge, through, huge through syndication. People love the Beatles. People love the Beatles. And they, and love they love hearing them on about, Sunday morning. And they love hearing about Danbury, Connecticut. And, I've uh, read a lot of Danbury, Connecticut facts in my show. It and is it, amazing how much the Val Verde citizenry are just it's obsessed shocking. with Danbury, Connecticut. They can't it's kind get of a enough. sister community in many ways, uh, overlooked, yeah. Yeah. Uh, economically a little bit past its prime, but well, hopeful of better times to come. Yeah, true. yeah. that is true. Uh, they both have some decent government subsidized universities in their community. Uh, they both got a lot of farms. Yeah, so... That's true. You know, we have so many farms here in Valverde. And no, I always say, I wonder we've got Too that Danbury farms. Museum down there, right on yep. Hog Street, yeah, right next to the Rock of Danbury Dolls. Museum, yeah. mm-hmm. which so, is a really well curated place. I've been there many times. Guys, you look. Here's the it thing. Might sound, it might sound different, but hear me out. Okay. 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 okay, 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 okay get okay, up at four okay. in the morning. Yeah, you're four in the morning. Yeah. You're tuning into Breakfast with the Beatles in Danbury, Connecticut. Right. You're used to hearing something like, I don't know, let's say Ticket to Ride, a little oh, mid tempo, yes. little mid tempo catchy song. Maybe, yeah. maybe um, we can work it out. Oh, um, hit me. Maybe even something a little more up tempo like Help or Hard Day's Night. Oh, my God. So, can, hey, 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 ring, ring, ring. Can I get a request for your mother should know? Good, sure. Mother, that would be a great. Uh, one that you know, we you know, I'll be honest, we might not lead off the hour with that, but right. we could get into it about ten minutes in, no problem. Oh, I cannot wait. Now, instead, imagine uh, you turn on the radio and you get a twenty-minute sound jam from Mind Eraser yeah. called "Think About the Desert," which is uh, a seven-minute track these guys just released, and I heard it down at Tuxedo Junction, and it blew me away. Ah, Tuxedo Junction, the fa- my favorite club outside of Valverde. Uh, yeah, it's right on the border. Yes, I don't right. go because I don't like leaving Valverde. Oh, uh, you go, you go to t- you go to the a- the the Valverde annex of Tuxedo Junction. I do go to the Valverde. Oh annex. no, I've I know made many smaller. trips to Danbury, Connecticut, to go to, to the actual Tuxedo Junction because I like to go to where the home of rock and yeah, roll the is. The mothership, the original flagship yes. Tuxedo Junction, yep. is right behind Main Street at Danbury, Connecticut. Exactly oh behind Main God. Street with that little that little penguin with a top hat. Just like you know, I just love so that cute. little guy. Just so cute. The thing about Beatles fans is uh, they're very temperamental. Ethan. They're very have, you thought of, have you thought about that? That's chapter four in my children's book. It Beatles is. That's why I call them too, too temperamental. And this is Jeff the Anger Man Garlock yeah. saying that. That's yeah. the full title of the chapter. Like, That's one of the things I love about your children's books is the chapters. You yes. don't often see chapters in children's you books. Really like, why, not, why not introduce that to kids? A three to five year old, they want chapters. They want delineation. They want also, length. I like yep. your prologue and forward. I like your epilogue and appendices. Well, I write them all. Thank you for appreciating them. I uh, personally love the very, very small font. Oh, you got to keep it small when it's you got to keep it small for kids. The little kids are little, so their font needs to They've be little. They've already got good eyes. They were born with good eyes. They haven't lost their eyesight like us old fogies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can handle the small font. They can. They can. Oh but this God. is interesting. Yeah, this I am is a worried. change I mean, here. Fans Here's are the- temperamental. Uh, yeah, I, I've I've already kind of uh, primed the pump a little bit. Last couple Sundays, I've uh-huh. thrown in a couple Mind Eraser sound jams. Interesting. Uh, here and there, just just to see what the reaction is, and I would say that the reaction has been passionate okay hey scotty um, can you can you check the uh, listener mail and see if we have anything from uh, last week's show all right he's shaking his head no but i know yeah, he's going to i know we got some coming we'll you see got uh, we'll see well, what i we know got. you've got some because down at the danbury studio i i played uh mind erasers uh-huh. uh a little mind eraser jam i which i think the one i played was um think about this no. Oh, okay. And um, how long is think about within this? Within an hour, I had four handwritten letters delivered to the studio. Wow! In protest. So they're uh, they're really getting excited. You know, I have to say, like I, excitement. I'm realizing that I might have heard the show. I I was okay. I was, yeah. I, was, I was crashing on the couch in the studio, of course, because I've been. I bet I just have been crashing there if art isn't there. That's just how right. it is. Uh, right. We're just calling it like it is now. Art station Spartan, manager, Ron, I'm guy. sorry. And we're going to be going to you soon, Art. So you uh, you hold tight, okay? And I was having trouble sleeping. So I was like, I need to be angry to sleep. I better turn on Breakfast with the Beatles. It was around 4 a.m. And I got to tell you, I thought that I had just been caught in between the dial on two yes, stations. That's, that's but Mind Eraser's classic sound. Isn't now sort of I realize it was... Com- 
Was uh, it from snippets. the record caught in between the dial? Caught in between the dial. Oh. Uh, yeah, that one's got samples of some NPR Morning Edition news sound bites, some electric hum, some shrieks, uh, a handful shrieks. of frogs ribbiting, uh, and then beautiful uh, My Bloody Valentine style guitar distortion. So, uh, I, okay, I gotta so, tell you, this, it uh, rips. this wow. sounds like uh, people are going to be angry, and the angry man is going to be happy because if I could be turning on. Breakfast with the Beatles, getting ready to be angry, but instead I get into a calm, a calm, relaxed attitude because I'm hearing the Mind Erasers. I'm hearing a nice three-hour Steve Roach improvisation. Maybe some yeah. Suzanne like Chiani. Yeah. Uh, one of the... Uh, they're, they're all, they're all great. Uh, you talk about the classics. Not to get into Greg Lemon Sour right, territory guys. here. Right, guys. guys we we'll love Greg Lemon Sour. Once, once, once again, uh, once again, uh, whisper like don't, 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 I, I'm, I'm on your side here, Ethan. Don't don't turn on me. Tell me I'm how not, much you love Greg. I'm not. I'm going to say it. Once again, Wiz Turlington is going to be the uh, goddamn voice of reason here, and I'm going to say it's not going to fly. It's going to fly. Now, it there's definitely going to be resistance. There's always resistance. When the Beatles themselves did Strawberry Fields and Penny Lane, the then-established Beatles fans were upset at the new psychedelic approach. But now, of course, those songs are amongst the most beloved in the <sighs> Beatles catalog. And now, listen, it's not just going to be the Mind Erasers. Okay, yes, they're my favorite. I'm going to heavily feature them every week. But I'm going to be featuring some other droney keyboard explorations, oh, too. God. I got the Esophagus Massagers. Oh, the what? I got some advent the Esophagus Massagers. Uh, they're um, a percussion-only uh, drone outfit from New Milford. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to oh, have the God. Cerebellum Huggers. Oh, um, they're sort of uh, animal noises only. They own, Their music is all made of noises found in nature. I got a Swedish outfit who's just called Herman, and that is a 15-group co- art collective. And uh, they're, they're doing some great stuff with uh, throwing furniture off of stairs. I mean, so, this sounds you know, we're, like We're going to have a variety I of stuff. Don't. And now and then, I'll no. play You Should Have Known Better off of A Hard Day's Night. Please. I got to say, this uh, uh, this five and a half hours might be my favorite Beatles material, if you oh my catch God. my drift. So. Look, oh I've just done God. the show for a long time. Okay, I've done the show for a long time. I've heard Hey Jude thousands of times. I can't thousands even imagine. Thousands of times. And it's a great song. It's a brilliant song. Paul McCartney is is one of is the Mozart of our era. I, I don't mind saying it. But how many hey, man, times do you he, really need to hear it? You know? How many times a do you lot. really need to hear Penny Lane? It's uh, like... You Been know, there, done that. Scotty. He's just literally Scotty. singing about nouns that are within his view. Scotty, Please. Can you, can, I, I you, mean, can you mute Ethan so he can't? I need to talk to Jeff. Just, just, uh, Jeff, what the fuck? I, I, I know. What the fuck? This is great. No, man, I mean, this no, is fantastic. No, no, it is not. I Why had not? dinner with Boss Ron last night. Okay. The station is truly effed. This isn't going out over the air. No. Nobody is hearing this. Scotty. Scotty, Make right? sure okay. you, this is not going over just, there. Just, I'm going to whisper to you, Scotty. Okay. Is this going out over there? It's, he's shaking his he's head shaking no. Shaking his head no. Shaking we his head no. We are fucked. Wait. This is this... the number one show on oh, weekends. No. Do you know how many sponsors pay for this show because they love the Beatles? I'm guessing a fair amount if you were talking to station manager Ron about it. Valmart. No. Flappers. No. Seabird Burritos. No. Nuts, Rock not chestnuts. Dolls. Not chestnuts. chestnuts. No. Uncle Petruccio's. Robert Fripp's Beef Tips? Robert Fripp's Beef Tips just did a huge buy along uh, with Mike and the Mechanics. Oh, no. I need to get I need to get my transmission fixed if I ever get my car back from Arlo well, Guthrie. What am I going to do? I don't know. Okay. I mean, wow. This is, we need this is what they call an existential question. 108.9 The Hawk was created, written, and performed by Jason Gore and Jeff Garlock. For all episodes of 108.9 The Hawk, please search for 108.9 The Hawk on any podcast provider or visit 1089thehawk.com. To support the show, please visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash 1089 The Hawk, the world's greatest comedy podcast about classic rock radio. 108.9 The Hawk.